So today we're gonna be breaking down one of the most powerful weapons in Cold War. Ever since season two, the AUG has become a fan favorite. And the reason why is, is because it's just as deadly as the M16, but it actually hits a little bit harder. So we're gonna be breaking down how I have my class set up on this as we're showing you guys a little bit of gameplay. But I'm letting you guys know, this one right here is my go-to weapon for Cold War. I'm having a ton of fun using it. And not only do I use it in Cold War, I also use it in Warzone. But this class setup right here will be 100% for Cold War. So if you guys have been looking for a good Cold War weapon or how to set up your AUG in season two of Cold War, well, this right here is the go-to setup and it's my go-to. Got my friends on it and they are hooked with the AUG too. It's just one of those weapons that can perform really well in this game. So let's get down to the breakdown for this class setup. So we are running the three time scope for the AUG, probably one of the best scopes to use because of how little recoil you actually see in it. But you can run anything you want on this weapon. On um, the two time scope is definitely pretty good, but this three time scope right here is my go-to with using the AUG. Now for the muzzle, we are running the Agency Silencer. This is gonna give us that 100% muzzle flash concealment. Plus we get that 15% vertical recoil control at a cost of negative 30% bullet velocity. But this Agency Silencer is probably going to be the best silencer in the game for your weapons, right? We go to the barrel, we're gonna have the 18.2 strike team barrel. This gives us that 14% damage, 11% fire rate, allows us to hit that, tap that trigger a little bit quicker. And then it does have a con of effective damage range of 25% and then idle sway control of 10%. So just keep that in mind right there. Now we continue on and then for the body, we're gonna put the target designator. Now this gives us that 60% reveal distance and what I love about it is there's no cons to it. Now you can pick a couple things on here, but I just feel like having that reveal distance actually helps when you are trying to fight enemies at distance. Their name will pop up and it helps out a lot. For the underbarrel, we're gonna be running the speed grip. Now this is gonna be slightly better than the field agent four grip and this has been tested by multiple, yes, multiple um, YouTubers, so yeah, I put it on recently recently over the field agent grip and I am having a lot of fun with it. Now this gives us that 10% sprinting move speed and 15% horizontal recoil control, but we do get a little bit of a negative um, movement speed overall, 6%, negative 6% shooting move speed, and then 6% aiming walking movie speed. So, but it's been tested and this one tends to give you a little bit more um, control of the weapon than the field agent grip. Now we go to our mag and we are actually running a drum here. So we're running the 54 round drum. And the reason I like this is because this one's only gonna give me negative 15% versus negative 25% from the fast mag. So yeah, between the two, it's really up to you, but that's the choice that I went with, especially with the AUG, you don't need that fast reload time. Then we do have the speed tape on here. This is gonna give us that 10% aim down sight time. And then for the stock, we're gonna have the 10% sprint to fire time with the Marathon stock. And, th and that's pretty much up to you. But yeah, this is the full loadout right here, guys. This is my go-to for the AUG. And we're gonna continue on with the full class loadout so that way you guys can see how I have my full class loadout for Cold War. But this is it right here, guys. This thing is an absolute monster. And for the rest of the class setup, for my secondary, I love running with a knife and I just pick up another weapon off the ground as I go. For my tacticals, I run the stim shot. It's great for when you take damage, you pop it. For my lethal, I'm running the frag nade. And then for my field agent grip, I am running the proximity mine. You can choose whatever you want there. Now for the three perks, I am running the fling jacket, the scavenger, and ghost. I feel like those three are probably my go-to Anytime I run any type of Cold War multiplayer, those are the three I'm running with. And then as you guys see at the bottom, I'm running the Gunfighter card, and that allows me to put all the attachments on my character, yes. So that is my setup for my class. Hopefully you guys are using something like this. Hopefully if you guys have any tips or tricks, yo, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about this class setup. How do you have your AUG class setup? And what do you prefer running? I'm telling you, this thing is a laser beam. It literally doesn't even move when you spam that trigger button. And that's what I love about it. If you guys look at it, it doesn't move at all, especially with this scope I have on it. I am a fan of this weapon and I, I think it is actually really good. And I like it better than the M16. And I was using the M16 for a little bit. Um, but ever since I fully maxed out my AUG, this thing 
has become an absolute monster to use on core and i think i dropped like, some of my highest kills and i'm not saying i get a lot of kills as i'm just getting back into this game but i think i hit like two back-to-back -back 60 plus kill games with this gun and i'm just getting in the groove of cold war you give me a couple more days and we'll be back in it i'm having fun with this um hopefully you guys are enjoying the content if you guys are new to the channel man Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because I will be bringing you guys more Cold War content and more Warzone content. I will be bringing you some of that Call of Duty content to this channel. So if you guys have been watching me for The Division, well, hopefully you guys are ready for another chapter. You know, we always like playing lots of games on this channel. And if you guys are new, first time catching any of my videos, well, hopefully you guys will become part of the family and will join us as we guys continue on to cover Call of Duty Cold War, Warzone with these class setups, with um, gameplay. We're definitely gonna branch out a little bit, so hopefully you guys are ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna leave you guys with some gameplay to finish off this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, but please leave a like if you guys enjoyed this class setup, and if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, see you guys around. Nothing but skills out. Hardpoint contested. CIA, we're almost out of time. Hardpoint lost. 